When you log on to Reflex Maths for the first time, it's going to take you to the home screen. Uh, the home screen shows a help desk or you can go to frequent ask questions or you can assign Reflex to students. When you click assign Reflex to students, the system automatically creates your first class. It's going to be labeled my first class, but don't worry, you could change that later. There's three ways in which you can import students. You can add a new student that's manually one by one. You can import your students from a CSV file if you have them, or you can add students from the school roster. We're going to do add students from the school roster since I've already pre-populated the students information. You can filter by grade level, or you can search specific names. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to go with the account test. We're going to scroll down and add to our class. Once the student is added to the class, his name will populate in your class. We can go ahead and assign him something. Until the student is assigned something, they will not have access to Reflex Math. If you put no assignment, it will let you know. It will prevent them from logging in. And you're going to see red writing under assignment. So we'll get an assign them, adding or subtracting zero to 10. From this point on, your work is pretty much done. Now all we're really gonna focus on is the data, taking that data, analyzing that data, and seeing how we're gonna monitor student progress. So let's go to our dashboard. On your teacher dashboard, it shows an overview information for all your classes in Reflex including any alerts and provides a way to access more detailed reports. You're going to see an average fluency gain, an average usage, and the green light. Clicking anywhere on this bar will take you directly to more detailed reports for that class. Right? So you get student milestones, you get class milestones. That's if we're on the milestones, right? We get group statuses right here. This is going to tell you per assignment, initial assignment, fact fluency, fluency gain, usage, and the last time they logged in. Um, you can get all this information. The usage summary, it tells you the usage of the per your classroom. You can get it as a chart or you can get it as a table. And fluency growth as far as your entire class goes. If you want individual reports, all you have to do is toggle through this green bar at the top. You select your student and now breaks it down for the individual student. So he has fact details for him. This is gonna go ahead and populate green around the facts that he's fluent in, uh, this lighter mint blue on the not fluent and things that haven't been assigned will stay white. Also individualized milestones that he's hit, how much he uses it, and fluency growth. Right now we don't have any data because this student has not participated, but yours will populate in these areas. In addition, I let you know what we could change our class name. You're just gonna go to manage students. You're gonna hit class settings right here you could change your name you can also add additional teachers if you want to share your classroom with other teachers hey guys so when you log in as a student the steps you're going to take is select your teacher's name so you're going to type in your teacher's name your teacher should share this with you guys select go You're going to select your class so different teachers will pop up populate here if you have if you're already on their roster you're going to select your name it says test a because this is a demo student you're going to input your password for you guys it's going to be the same one you use for clever your login and your password you're going to hit login You're going to hit start. When you first log on, it's going to ask you to create your avatar. So we're going to create our avatar. You can see how tall you are. 
color of your skin. Your hairstyle. Color of your hair. You change your eyes as well. We're gonna set it when we're ready to go. And if you like it, you put yes. Then we're gonna take oh, a quick assessment. Oh, look at you! Now, let me show you something. Look across the water. Do you see? Yes, this wonderful island full of challenge and adventure. The more you visit island, the faster your math reflexes will become. Would you like to go there? Of course you would. But first, we visit another special place. We are going to my famous fact fair. But I need your help. The fair needs power. Help me generate power by typing these numbers as fast as you can. At this point, they're doing an assessment so they can place the student at the correct level when they start playing the actual games. After you have played for a while, you will see this green light turn on. This means store is open. Here, you can use your token to buy things for your avatar. When you are finished, click log out button. That is all for now. Time for Krabby to get moving. Things do pinch, you know. Say hello to Coach Penny for me. You navigate the site by scrolling. Everything you see that is closed will open. The more you play, the more access you have. If you notice, there's squares are turning red, yellow, and green. Green means you did it in time. Yellow means you need to hurry. And red means you took too long. And when you're ready to go, just go ahead and click on log out. It'll save your progress and you can enjoy the rest of your day.